pursue the truth, not experiences, not even spiritual experiences. <clears throat> what do I mean by this? I mean that you may have spiritual experiences. They may be comfort and consolation or confusion, depending. But pursue the truth. As you retain your seed, you must pursue. You must focus. And the truth must be your pursuit. Jesus Christ himself is the truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. But you must pursue the truth con constantly and consciously if you would be saved. People can get lost in spiritual experiences, especially when they lack discernment, and that's most people. Do not seek spiritual experiences. Seek the truth. If you have a spiritual experience, give thanks. It's possible to have spiritual experiences which seem beautiful to you, but which are not from God. But guard yourself always with the sign of the cross. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. And pursue the truth always. Don't focus on visualizations when you pray. Focus on the words of the prayer. And keep your attention on your breath inside of your body all the time. We're not trying to do astral projection. We're trying to acquire divine grace. To become obedient to the commandments for love of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. That's a prayer to make me obedient to the commandments, for I have gone astray. It's a prayer for healing. A prayer which rests upon the compassion and mercy of God. The more that you pray, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. The more your love for the truth will increase, because Jesus Christ is himself the truth. But always pursue the truth, that you may know the truth and be obedient to the truth. And pursue the truth, whatever the cost, and then tell the truth. Even if it costs you your life, tell the truth. If you wish to be saved. <clears throat>